I'm at the hotel now. Um, believe it or not, I took a shower, shaved, and got out here. I went outside, and it's kind of like cloudy and raining, and sprinkling. It's not bad. So I've been waiting for about an hour. I'm tired of sitting here, and I'm gonna be wearing my sunglasses because they're prescribed, and I can see. I left my other ones at home, so I'm gonna look cool riding around in the cloudy weather with sunglasses on. Who cares? How you doing? Hello. Wonderful. How are you? How's it going, buddy? This is what I've been doing though, just driving around in my chair. There's so many things to do. I mean, there's anything you can think of. Dollar stores, fast food places, Chuck E. Cheese, Burger King, McDonald's. I mean, everything you can possibly think of. It's like a strip. And uh, I'm just staying at this place called Coco Resort or something. It's kind of like a small Cal It's kind of like an old Kalahari. A Coco Key, that's what it's called. Coco Key. But, um,. It's really cool. There's a Titanic place right next door, a Titanic artifact museum type thing. I'm gonna do that while I'm here someday. It's 23 bucks. But um This is it. And at like one and two in the morning it's topping. People playing their music in their cars. I'm just out here driving around cutting in front of everybody. But this is the Titanic place I wanna go to. Sorry about the ride. I want to go here to that. I love Titanic stuff. When I was down in uh, Gatlinburg with Dan Verba, my buddy, we went down there on our bikes. It was a blast. I traded my bike in and got a new one. Everybody knows that story. But we went down there and did the Titanic Museum, and I loved it. It was so cool. So cool. I'm really into that kind of stuff. But there's another thing. Right there's that slingshot thing. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. See it up there? Shoot you up in the air like a rocket. I talked to some drunk truck drivers at the hotel. They said they got drunk and did it. <laughs> they regretted it. The older guys, too. So, But they said they did it. I'm not doing it. I see all these helicopters around here. Uh, Line, and I, I wasn't sure if it was a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess right down the street by McDonald's there's a place you can go for helicopter rides. It's like $100 for 10 minutes or something. I'm not sure, but... Good, are you? Good. I'm gonna try it. It's just hard, because most places, most things they don't let me do because I don't have any legs. I'm sure they're not gonna... Anybody let me crawl and do it, I'll do it. But, unfortunately, they got rules and they're worried about everybody suing and stuff. But uh, I would love to try that uh, helicopter ride thing. I think that that's the only thing I haven't done that I've always wanted to try. But there's that slingshot thing. Crossing the road looks like it's gonna be a bitch. I don't know that I can do it. That's it there though. I mean, they drop you from down there, like it's on the bungee gobs are waiting to just shoot you up there, dude. It's so crazy. It's really cool. Really, really cool. My daughter went to, uh, I'm down here with my daughter and my ex. We brought her down here for her 13th birthday. So they went to Universal Studios today with my daughter's friend that lives down here. So I got the day to do what I want. Monday, I'm going to Universal Studios with her. 
so they're being cold basically letting me do whatever I want down here while they're gone and I don't care what the weather's like really but in Florida it's always raining and it'll be sunny and it's, it's like that but is that a go-kart? oh yeah yeah they got them go-karts hanging up there on the wall That. I know her mom was talking about it. Somebody dropped something. Her mom was talking about doing that with her. But how you doing? There's all kinds of people down here. Interesting, to say the least. All right, well. For a mission. I got everything I need, extra batteries, I got money in my wallet, so I can get something to eat. I wanna get a steak dinner somewhere. Got a tattoo shop, literally across the street from the hotel. Yeah, like the plaza there. I mean, there's just so much stuff to do for me. As far as eating and if I was drinking, but I'm not, I don't drink anymore, I don't like that. It makes me feel like poopy. But, man. It's just so nice to be somewhere with pine trees or palm trees and different, just different. I saw that couple last night. They were talking about these scooters they got. I think I heard something about $300. I don't know if they bought it or rented it. But they were riding them last night flying down the road and them things. Really cool. I couldn't believe how fast the girl was going. I was waiting for her to fuck that. Looks like it might be a rental thing or something because it's got a little box on it. Dunkin' Donuts, DK. Game Changers Bar and Grill. I'm trying to find a gas station where you go in and buy a grill. Personal food stuff. I mean, gas station stuff. <laughs> this looks like a cool restaurant. It's really nice. Should, should get a long food down here. This will be my spot. Call it Stumpies. Stumped. That's what we'll call it. Stumped. Ferris wheel over there. I saw that we came in. And it's on doing. Yeah, I guess it was. 
The guy told me he thought it was a hundred dollars a ten minute ride to take down the beach. Show you all that and then drive up above this strip here showing you stuff on the way back to the McDonald's and the Dunn. But I, I really want to do it just for the ride and experience. Let's see. Not too far from like Coco Beach, Vero Beach, that's but that's kind of like the direction. We're kind of in the middle almost. I could go either way here, or we could head over the others. The Gulf Coast. <coughs> I've been there before. Nothing exciting. It was like Hurricane, or, uh, Hurricane Katrina I did. It was a good shot. Oh, there's a Hooters. Come see the Hooters. Oh, that is so great. They got good steaks. Give me some pictures of some looters. Oh, there's a Denny's. I didn't even realize that was there. Denny's. Oh, there's a helicopter. It looks like you just took off to me. Oh, no, I gotta do that. I just gotta do that so bad. I don't know if they'll let me crawl up in a helicopter. My luck, they won't let me crawl up in there. I can crawl in anything. If they let me park my chair and grab onto the foot bar thing and crawl up in there and let me go for a little ride, that would be sweet. But I didn't know they won't. Look, this is a McDonald's, and it is the weirdest McDonald's. Look at that. You ever seen a McDonald's like that? Yo, back. Let's stop at the gas station. It's like $3.50 for a pop at the hotel. $3.50. That's ridiculous. My dumbass has bought a bunch of them, but <coughs> I come down here to the Circle K. Or no, yeah, Circle K. To try to get some pops and stuff to put in my fridge because I got a fridge in the hotel, so I'm not use it, right? Trying to find the helicopter place still. I found it, the guy told me where it's at, but I gotta head back to the hotel so I can get Carrie the uh, thing to find out what time she can catch a bus back out of Universal. But I'm gonna go down there again. I mean, this is just one mission. I got plenty, plenty of time. I don't get run over by a damn car. So damn sure. Appreciate it. Sorry.
This is the weirdest looking Danny. You need to get shot over there. It looked like them guys shooting them up like they did and coming down. It was just crazy. Cheap hotel, it's like an old uh, Kalahari, but it's not bad for the How you doing, buddy? I guess I'd go through here. Also some kind of hippie thing down here, some fest where everybody's dressed up like a snee. Yeah, it's hippie fest and all these girls are walking around with their junk hanging out, it's pretty crazy. Baby shirt and be wearing junk. Watch. That is huge. That is McDonald's. Crazy. Thing the guy said that's why everybody's all dressed up. A lot of people everywhere you go. 